Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on King's Kids, a nightly bedtime story for you. My name is Mrs. Leeds, and this is my daughter, Kaya. You've seen her in another video with my husband, Mr. Leeds. At church, I have the privilege of leading the pre-K to third grade master club on Wednesday night, and I also work in the church office. Now, tonight's story is special because it's called Resurrection Eggs. And as we celebrate Easter Sunday this Sunday, it is good to be reminded of why we celebrate Easter. Now, our story will be in two parts tonight and tomorrow night. Make sure you tune in again to as we conclude the Resurrection Egg story. Now, the first egg that we have here is which one, Kaya? A light. A blue egg. It's a little donkey. In Jesus' day, kings rode into the city on a donkey. And people would stop what they were doing. And when Jesus rode by into their city, the people were so happy to see him. And they showed their happiness by spreading branches and coats on the road. This was also their way of showing honor to Jesus. Okay, what's our next egg? A light pink egg. There are three silver coins. Now, not everyone was happy to see Jesus. Some people pretended and they didn't want anything to do with him. And one of these men that pretended was one of his disciples, Jesus, uh, Judas Iscariot. And some other men hated Jesus so much that they wanted to kill him but they needed the help of someone that could get them close to Jesus. And because Judas Iscariot was a pretender and he was greedy, he helped them capture Jesus for 30 silver coins. Okay, what's our next egg? A light purple egg. And there's a little silver cup inside. Jesus had a special dinner with his disciples the 12 of his closest friends. And during this special dinner, Jesus held up a cup for them all to drink. And he said that the juice that they were drinking from this cup was a symbol of his blood that he was going to shed for them. And he wanted to remember that the special night that he was having. And do you know what the promise is that he was going to make to them on this special night? Well, let's listen and find out. Kai, what's our next egg? An orange egg. Praying hands. After the special dinner, Jesus took them to a garden and he asked them to pray while he prayed in another part of the garden. Now, Jesus was praying and he was sad. He knew what was going to happen to him and he dreaded it. Jesus was willing to die. And you see, one of the remarkable things was about Jesus was that he was like no one before him or after him. He was both God and man at the same time. The God part of him was willing to die because of his great love for us, but the human part of him was sad because he didn't want to experience the pain. Now, when you are afraid or sad, you should always remember like Jesus did to pray. Kai, what's our next egg? A green egg. A wet. A whip that they used to whip Jesus. Uh, that's so sad. When Jesus finished praying in the garden, the men who wanted to kill him took him as their prisoner. They brought Jesus to Pilate, their ruler, and had Jesus whipped. Now, Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. The men who wanted to kill him were afraid of him being in power and of them losing power. And they knew that if Jesus was the ruler that people would follow him. Kai, what's our next egg? A yellow egg. It has a little rooster inside. Now you're probably wondering, what does a rooster have to do with the Easter story and Jesus dying on the cross for us? Well, Peter was one of Jesus's closest friends or one of his disciples. And he knew that no matter what, he was gonna be loyal to Jesus and that Jesus could depend on him. But that all began to change when Peter realized that those who planned to kill Jesus might wanna kill him too. 
Now, just the evening before, when Peter had promised to be loyal, Jesus told him that indeed um, he would deny him, not once, not twice, but three times. And on that third time, a rooster would crow. And sure enough, that happened. So when the rooster crowed the third time, he was so ashamed and ran away crying. Now, our story tonight ends there. And make sure that you pick it up tomorrow night for part two. Thank you for joining us. Right now we're going to pray and thank God for the resurrection. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this time that we can have to come to you. Lord, thank you for dying on the cross for us and that we can have our complete trust in you. Give us all a good night tonight. And thank you for our church, Mainland Baptist Church, and for each other. And I pray all of this in your name. Amen. Amen. Now, tomorrow night will be part two of our lesson. And remember, 1 Peter 2.9, you are a king's kid.